Fi 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 finally, your television is everywhere and anywhere. Laptop, desktop, and your phones. Nokia, Blackberry, Android, iPad, iPod, e e even your China phone. Channel 54 brings television close to you. Everywhere, anywhere. Check us out now at www.channel54.tv. Hi, what's up people? This is Cool DJ Jimmy Jack and I'd like to welcome you to this um, very lovely program. It's called the Celebrated Chair. This chair is meant for special people, you know. Very few selected people. I think I'm one of them. <laughs> you know, um, I'm your, you know, special guest tonight. You know, I'll be taking you through my 10, you know, Maybe not necessarily my 10 favorite videos, but 10 videos that at the time they came out really made an impact on me, you know. So you stick around, keep watching, and you're definitely going to have a wonderful time. All right? Stay tuned. All right, you're welcome back to the show. Um, at number 10, even though I wish I don't have to really put the... Um, like um, listening to it like one two three four but at number 10 is um ill bliss featuring um, suspect and kel i kind of like this video because at that time it came out you know people were beginning to deviate from making videos for the essence of a song they were beginning to make videos based on rat matas paparazzi you know and deviating from the song itself this song came out it's just a basic hip-hop track and the video is just basic, straight to the point video. You know, and I, I kind of like that. I, I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, wow. Simple, but message sent, you know. And that's why I love this video. And I think it made a whole lot of impact at the time. You go wound. Ill bliss. You don't watch this, you go wound. Okay. It's told me, it's cool DJ Jimmy Jad. Anyway, most people are always asking me, are you Nigerian? Because <laughs> our name is not outside, it's not Yoruba, it's not Igbo. What part of the country are you from? I'm a Nigerian, um, simply put, you know. Um, I was born in Lagos, you know, I've spent all my life in Lagos. Of course, I move around, I've been to everywhere in the world, but this is my base, Lagos. You know, um, I'm, you know, from a family, originally from a family of about 12, but we're seven surviving now. Five. Five. <laughs> my mom, my dad, my three younger ones, you know, so I'm like one of seven surviving people in my family right now. You know? So, um, I grew up on the island, you know, I'm an island boy, and island is Lagos, so I'm the true Lagos boy. That's why, you know, I'm always repping Lagos every time, you know, so... Pretty much that's a little bit about myself. I move on to number nine video right now. This video, whether the video tap or no tap, the fact that one, I think this is one of the greatest songs done by a Nigerian. And I think this is one of the most um, amazing artists I've come across in my entire life. And I think this guy is a wonderful guy. The video is equally as nice, you know. Um, the song, Without a, without a doubt, I think it's making you know a whole lot of impact on a whole lot of people, not just me. And it's two face. Now you'll be wondering which one of them, because there's so many of them. It's only me. Listen to the song, watch the video. It's landmark. It's awesome. You know, you don't get this kind of song every now and then. So, number nine video, only me, two face. Okay, we're back from number nine. Before I go into my number eight video, um, I like to, you know, everybody wonders like, 
how did you get into find yourself being a DJ, you know? Like as a kid, were you, you know, aspiring to be a DJ when you grow up? I don't think too many kids aspire to be DJs when they grow up. At the time I was growing up, maybe now, yeah, young people will aspire to be DJs, you know. But then, there are only three professions you can be, I mean, you will aspire to, you get into when you grow up. That would be, you either want to be a lawyer, a doctor, or an engineer. If everybody was a DJ, I mean, was a, was a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, this world would be a boring place. You need DJs too. That's why I felt like, man, let me get into it and offer people alternatives. <laughs> you know, just joking anyway. I, I happen to come from a very, you know, music-loving family. My dad was into music collection. My mom, my brothers, my dad was collecting all the... 60s, you know, early 70s stuff, you know, James Brown, Nathan Cole, Sonny Adik, Tunde Nightingale, Ebenezer Obey, and all that. And then my mom was collecting the, you know, um, Bonnie, Bonnie M, you know, the ABBA songs, the Bongos Ikwe, you know, all those soft love songs and all that, you know, uh, Jim Reeves and all that. Then my brother started collecting all the late 70s, Shalama Dynasty, you know, the Solar Era, Cool and the Gang and everything. So I, I pretty much grew up on all that, you know, and uh, they were collecting even the early Niger stuff like, um, you know, uh, Chris Okoche and all that. You know, so I, I, I'm just like somebody that was a victim of what my family was dumping on me, you know, in terms of collecting music and dumping it at home. And me, I don't ever get out of the house, so I'm stuck with listening to music, you know, and that's how, for some reason, they, you know, turned me into what I am now. <laughs> I don't think anybody's regretting it, though. Um, at number eight would be one of my all-time favorite, without a doubt. Um, you know, this video I saw it um, first. I saw it online. I think it was uploaded on YouTube or something. I'm um, like, wow. I'm that kind of person that like people making videos and not taking the taking away the essence of the song. You know, and I saw this video and it was just straight to the point. Message sent, clean video, no you know, not too much added unnecessary additions, you know. This one is LD, one day. From the beginning of that video to the end, you don't get bored, but it was just basic camera working on, you know, people and, you know, the expression on all the faces of all these people can tell you that, you know, things have to change, things need to get better. The song delivers, the video delivers, and I'm, I'm just blown away. I saw it for the first time and I always remember it. You know, so at number eight is LD the Dawn, one of my favorite artists of all time, with one day. Alright? people that were back with the show it's cool DJ Jimmy Jazz still in the building you know um, at number seven there's one video that I was I happened to be on the set of this video and it was um, it was a chroma video you know just the green background I was wondering what the guy as, at that time I didn't even know so much about the video director so I thought okay and then the act the artist was just pretty much upcoming at that time you know so I'm like low budget we're just trying to cut corners Let's see how this turns out. You know, it was just Chroma in the studio in, Oba, um, in um, Ikeja. And I was on set with them. And I'm like, you know, I wasn't expecting so much from this video. And then the video came out. I'm like, whoa. Was it the same video I went on the set? Or, you know, and this video is like, I think the first time I, I hear, I heard about the guy, the director, Max. You know, so... I'm like, this guy is some creative guy, you know. Um, the video came out real nice. It was um, something fresh at that time, really brand new, you know, because everybody was used to location and video around there. And for someone to come with all that matrix kind of thing, it was mind-blowing, you know. For me, I, I saw the video and I was, you know, really impressed. And I said, man, I'll always remember this one. It's safe, am I? Directed by um, Max, and of course thereafter I will move to my number six video. Mm -hmm. 
This one is um, pretty much a very simple video, but picture quality, the essence of the video, the essence of the song, you know, dealing with the message of the song and interpreting that with pictures, you know, and these guys have always done that anyway. They, so, I mean, if you, if you ask me to do top 10, I might even put them at one, from one to 10, I can put their videos there, but at least for the essence of just accommodating everybody, I think at this point, we would definitely be expecting a P-square video. And um, this one, No One Be Like You, is a wedding song. The whole essence of the wedding, whatever. If, the, if you didn't like the song before the video, you definitely will see the video and you'll just fall in love with the video. <laughs> Big shout out, man. P-square, No One Be Like You, at number six as well. All right, guys, my name is AY. I make people laugh for a living. You see this? It's called celebrity share. What it means is that you need to be a celeb to see on it. Thank God, I'm a celeb. And keep watching celebrity share. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're back again. It's still celebrity chair. It's DJ Jimmy Jack, or better still, cool DJ Jimmy Jack. On you. You know, the seat for select. I don't know why I'm here. I might want. <laughs> um, if I wasn't a DJ, what else would I have been? I, if I wasn't a DJ, I probably still would be somewhere in the entertainment industry. I would be somewhere in the music, you know, maybe the business side of it, maybe, you know, the production side of things. But I would still be around music. I mean, there was, I wasn't, I wasn't cut out for any other thing. Trust me tried a whole lot of stuff before I settled down to this, you know, so I'm made for this. I'm made to, you know, I was created to be a DJ. Yes. All right. Okay. Number five, video. At the time when everybody is like trying to be Yankee, John, forming blinks, you know, doing all that, you know, want to be, want to be, want to be, and forgetting our own essence, forgetting our own way of life i saw a very young artist come up with something that nobody ever thought of in a long time especially in this genre of music you know and i'm like yes i saw ankara you know i saw the old ambe party setting i saw all that i'm like this is who we are you know how come everybody's been like all about the you know 50 cent want to be kind of video you know so that's Sim simple that's just the basic essence of this video if there's nothing else to it that is a take-home message there that look you can look around you and find what you need to deliver to your own people and i always commend my guy Ginny, and it's not Ginny the artist it's Ginny, the video director you know for always always looking around his environment you know and looking around him you know the places where he, he stays and just trying to tap into that and coming up with very unique stuff Komaro look watch this video well Komaro um, more cheddar okay we're almost getting to number one but we're still at number four it might sound, I'm beginning to look at it, it might sound like, but I, do, I think everybody will agree with me because it might look like I'm just in love with these guys. I mean, this is the second time they are appearing on, in the, uh, on the countdown. Um, it's Peace Square again. But before I tell you which video this time, this same video I was on the set as well. <laughs> I was actor, lead actor. <laughs> um, at that time, you know, we still hadn't gotten the act of making videos right, like exactly on a global level we hadn't gotten it right in this country at that time you know so we're still trying to you know make our videos acceptable to the old world you know and these guys came and they tried to do like a michael jackson video you know dance like if you look at trailer it's like a low budget trailer move, uh, video kind of thing, you know, like the, es the dance essence, the, you know, the smoke effects, you know, the locations, the movement, 
In actual fact, I was responsible for most of the cars in this video. I had to source for the cars there, you know. So, um, it's Peace Quest in Orita. I think it was their first video. They were not even out at that time. Nobody knew Peace Square at the time. But we believed in them. It was me, Awiti, and we just felt like, man, we're going to put every, every weight behind it and see how it goes, you know. Um, the video came out. It was directed by Jude Okoye. I think it was his first music video. I don't know if he's done any before then, but it was the first major music video he was doing. And we felt like it was just basically trying to keep it within the family. But by the time the video came out, it was obvious that you got the right man for the job. And it was a big, um, it was a landmark in the music industry. Because at that time, you might look at the video now and it doesn't strike you like that, but at that time, it changed the game. The natural fact. You, you know, people weren't sh shooting video on this level at that time. You know, so, Sinorita, P-Square, number four. All right, we're still here there. Oh, I'm still here there. But I'm actually referring to all of us. The director, the cameraman, <laughs> everybody around here. A whole lot of people behind the scene here. Don't think it's just me. People will be enjoying this show now and be thinking Jimmy Jad did one countdown on TV. It's a whole lot of people directing me here and telling me what to do, you know. And I like to appreciate that. Um, before we move on to number three, hope you've been enjoying the program so far anyway. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about, you know, how I got to this point. Um, I got into DJing from being an aspiring rap artist. Most people don't know that. But a lot of people that know me from way back can tell you that I used to go by the name Master J in those days. I used to be a rapper. Then I got into break dancing. If you go to my neighborhood in Obani, they'll tell you all these stories. <laughs> you know, then I got into break dancing. And then from break dancing to being the overseer of rappers and break dancers which means I'm now limited to being behind the deck, changing tracks for break dancers and rappers. And then which means becoming, be, being regarded as a DJ, you know, because the man changing the songs becomes a DJ. So it got to a point I just realized that I might as well take this seriously. And my brothers were DJing at that time as well. So they just pretty much schooled me on that and then got some other guy to, you know, brush it all up for me. You know, my brothers actually paid the guy 400 naira then, not 400,000, don't get me, you know, don't get it twisted, 400 naira, and that was a lot of money at that time, you know, considering that I've been DJing since the late 80s, you know, so it's been a, it's been a long ride, you know, and I'm, I mean, for me, I'm loving it, I mean, I'm, I, I won't be anything else, you know, I'll just, I'll remain as a DJ, I love it, and the fact, the energy you get from people, the you know the fact that people appreciate what you're doing it keeps you going um uh, at number three is one video that actually you know when if as an artist if you've been off the scene for a while and you need to make a comeback you should go and ask for the book you know of how this was done and that's how to make a comeback you know this was one artist that was already making waves and just went off the scene for a while and when it was time to come back, she came back big time based on this video. Based on the song and the video, but the video mainly. Because I don't think a whole lot of people even knew the song before the video went on her. It's, it's Joya by Weird MC. I think a whole lot of people will agree with that without you know me explaining why that is a landmark video, why that made an impact, why that is one of the videos you consider as one of the videos that made the impact in the industry, you know. Where them say Joya, simply put, set new standard at that time. Okay, um, I'm still here. Cool. Always put that cool. Cool DJ Jimmy Chat. Kind of like my name now. <laughs> um, what would I like to be remembered for? First, I would like to be remembered for a man that came and played his part and left his um, signs on the sands of time. Um, 
or his footprint on the sands of time, you know. I would like to be remembered for someone that came into, you know, the profession of DJing in Nigeria and at least took it from somewhere to, some, to you know, another level. Um, and I would like to be remembered for the man that is responsible for the next video. <laughs> um, I mean, by now you know that this video, I'm, fa I'm like, you know, I'm even responsible for it, yeah, you know, because it was my money and a whole lot of other people's energy and all that, no doubt. But, you know, I'm like the CEO, the overseer of this video. You already know what that is. It's Style A, it's um, Mode 9, it's Two-Face, it's Hello Joe, it's the whole of Lagos, and without a doubt, it's the first of its kind. It was the first of its kind in this country, you know. Um, it's still, you know, as fresh as ever, and I think we just pretty much rep who we are exactly without fronting, without faking, without dressing it up. Let people accept us for what we are and let us appreciate where we are. I was like, you know, I might be a top DJ. I might be regarded as one of the top DJs in the world right now. But I became that, you know, living in a particular city in this country. And I would ever, forever be grateful to that city. And that's the city of Lagos. And that's what's responsible for doing a song like this, you know. People say a whole lot of stuff about, you know, some people are just ungrateful, if, you know. But I'm one of those people that really appreciate what Lagos has been to me, what Nigeria has offered me, where Nigeria has taken me, where Lagos has taken me, you know, and placed me in the, in, you know, in the world, you know. So this song for me is a special song. And of course, the video in itself, we actually went down, I mean, went around a whole lot of places. In shooting this video, we were at Ujolegba, we were at Shita, we were at Nobarinde, we were in every hood in this, in, in this Lagos, you know. We didn't just try to dress it up and just say, man, let's go to, let's go to the VI, where I am right now, Get Arena, or some of the nice places, you know. So, we just, you know, pretty much showed people how Lagos is and appreciated that, with all that, you know, it's still a great, it's still a great place to, to live and to, you know, to be born. I'm privileged to have been born in Lagos. So, this Lagos where we did, so, these streets where you did, see, so, you know, you know, already know the story. Keep watching. Style at number two, DJ Jimmy Jack, Free Train, Two-Face, Mode 9, and Hello Joe. Okay, as you all can see, I'm well, welcome back from the last video. I'm not your typical Niger guy. Niger people are always, uh, a lot of Niger people would, because the last video has to do with you, you probably want to put it at number one. I'm, I'm not like that. I'm like true to it. It's one of the videos that almost made the countdown, but would have been number 11. They didn't allow me to do 11 of 11 videos <laughs> there's a video i did with some very beautiful ladies you know it's called too much you know you won't see it on this countdown but you should go and look out for it if you have not seen it before now if you have not seen it before now that means you have not seen any video because that's one of the you know landmark video of all time you know i don't know if you understand what that means go and watch it too much by dj jimmy jad featuring blaze sasha chemistry and bookie Awesome video, but it didn't make the top ten though. Um, at number one, in fact, this one I saw it and I just had to call the you know I had to call the guy you know that made the video because it's been my friend long before making this video, and you know we've done things together and I, I'm like I didn't expect that from him you know. It's a video directed by Jimmy once again, and you know it says a lot about trying you know sticking to who you are believe in yourself look around you you will always find what you need don't try to be someone else don't watch something else and try to buy the clothes that those people are wearing or try to you know find cars that you have never seen the interior before that you only see on the internet you know people talk about bentley's and they put them in their videos and all that and they've never seen the interior of this video of this store this is a video that was shot inside the Saleko, inside Lagos, I want a Kogongong, you know, because we know all these places, you know. 
and not too many people would dare go to places like that you have to be and you have to be a lagos boy to the core you have to you have role with people like us to go into territories like that to go and shoot video and it doesn't come cheap boys will be waiting you know so you know, this video i saw it i'm like yes you know and it turned out very well and it was the song itself was done by you know one awesome guy one great guy you know that we're missing right now is that green pop 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 one more at number one pop 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 olenu oyeni signing out now cool dj jimmy jack is everywhere and anywhere. Laptop, desktop, and your phones. Nokia, Blackberry, Android, iPad, iPod, even your China phone. Channel 54 brings television close to you. Everywhere, anywhere. Check us out now at www.channel54.tv.